Hi there everyone, welcome to your daily dose at home at the Calgary Zoo. My name is Jen and I'm part of the education team here and I'm standing in prehistoric park in front of this classic scene between a Tyrannosaur and a Triceratops. I wanted to share a little bit more about paleontology and, and that starts with my journey into paleontology. When I was in grade two, I remember making a Triceratops, one of these dudes here, a Triceratops out of yellow Play-Doh. It was not anatomically correct. It was, uh, you know, in my mind's eye, not that beautiful, but it sparked this interest, this love of what's beneath your feet, this love of the mystery of these animals that lived. And I decided I wanted to be a paleontologist when I grew up. My little brother decided he wanted to be a fossil when he grew up so that I could dig him up. So I went on, I got a degree in zoology and then I got a master's in paleontology at the University of Alberta. And while I was there, I got to study things that are a lot smaller and a lot older than dinosaurs. So I worked with a paleontologist, Dr. Brian Chatterton, who worked, he's a famous trilobite paleontologist. I worked on trilobites. I worked on these things called brachiopods, which are tiny, my guys were tiny, tiny little shells that lived in the Ordovician seas. So 400, 500 million years old. Uh, and I had so much fun being a paleontologist. So most people, when they think about paleontologists, think about these huge, super cool, glamorous digs, like you see in Jurassic Park, where you've got your wicked dino bag or paleontology bag filled with tools like this. Uh, and that, that definitely happens. If you're, if you're pulling out big, big fossils like these, um, you're, you need to get out there. You're out in the, in usually pretty warm places. Um, under the heat and you're digging. But paleontology is also a much bigger endeavor than just dinosaurs. It can include flying reptiles. I don't know if you can see my pterosaur here in the back. It can include plant fossils. It can include ichno fossils. So things like dino poop, dino footprints. It can also include quite small fossils or micro fossils. So the work that I did on brachiopods mostly involved me looking under a microscope with a tiny, tiny paintbrush looking for these cool little microscopic brachiopods. Paleontology is a very big science. It's more than just dinosaurs. Paleontologists often work with zoologists, botanists, geneticists, geologists. And the more that we learn about animals alive today, the more we can learn about animals that have gone extinct and vice versa. So we can learn about extinct animals and that'll teach us about animals that are alive today. And that's one of the reasons I'm really excited about paleontology and why we have Prehistoric Park here at the Calgary Zoo. In the next few weeks, we're going to explore more of Prehistoric Park. We might learn about some of the other dinosaurs here in the park and some other aspects of paleontology. And if we're super lucky, we might get to talk a little bit about this cool dino, Therizinosaurus. Let's hope we're that lucky. So thank you for joining me on your daily dose at home and we'll see you again. Thank you for supporting wildlife conservation.